Hello, my name is Dean Alhoss and today I will be explaining the Finance Buy section of a Vertical Balance Sheet. The Finance Buy section of the Vertical Balance Sheet is based on the equation new capital at the year end is equal to the capital at the beginning of the year plus any profits minus drawings. Of course, in the eventuality that you've made a loss, you would have to minus your loss. This makes perfect sense because when you think about it, if the owner brings in money, which is old capital, any money that is made during the financial year would be added to how much the owner is worth. And of course, any of the money drawn out of the business for personal use would have to be minused from the overall capital figure. So in this example here, we're looking specifically at the finance buy section, and we can see that the owner bought in originally 103,000. When you add that to the amount of profit that was made, which was 13,336, then minus the $336, you're left with a new capital of 116,000. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how we calculated our fixed assets, which in this case was 210,000. We worked out our working capital, which was current assets minus current liabilities, which came at 18,000. And when we added the two sets of assets, your net current assets or working capital and your fixed assets or non-current assets, they came to 228,000. Of course, we also need to minus any long-term non-current liabilities, in other words, long-term debts, such as the mortgage, the loan that you have to pay to buy the building or the land that your business runs on. When you minus the 112,000, which is the size of the loan they've had to take out to buy that land and buildings from your net current assets, added to your fixed assets, which gives you 228,000, you're left with the balancing figure of 116,000. Now, the bottom half of the balance sheet, the finance buy section, should equal that 116,000 if you have correctly applied the accounting equation, which is fixed assets plus current assets minus current liabilities minus non-current liabilities is equal to the new capital. If we look here at the final balance sheet, we can see that the top half of the balance sheet, as at the 31st of December for B Swift, is balancing at 116,000. And we now need to look at the finance buy section discussed earlier in this tutorial. And we simply lay that out by entering it into the third column. Remember we said that the business owner started with 103,000. Now that might be that the owner bought in 103,000 at the beginning of the year, or it might be money that he has made or she has made over a number of years, which was the opening balance of capital. Add to that our 13,336 of net profits, gives us a total of 116,336. And then, of course, the owner has taken $336 out of the business for his or her own use, which leaves us with this important number here, the balancing number, which is why it's double underlined, of 116,000. Does it balance with the top half of the balance sheet? Well, the answer to that is, of course, yes. Hence, you have applied the accounting equation of assets is equal to capital plus liabilities, rearranged assets minus liabilities, which gives you the top half of your balance sheet, is equal to the new capital, which is the bottom half of your balance sheet. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait for the next tutorial to load up on the playlist. Remember, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you did find this tutorial helpful, then remember to hit the like button.